Hi, I'm Amy, and this video is the first video in a series all about getting set up to play the viola. Today, we're going to focus mostly on talking about the body, which is what's holding up your instrument while you're playing, right? We don't think a lot about the body while we're playing, and a lot of the videos I've watched teaching, I've seen in master classes and in lessons, a lot of teachers have a tendency to leave out what the body is doing. I tell all of my students a few things to do that we will discuss today, and these are the things that I do in order to make sure that my body is balanced in the way that is unique to me. We go through these seven or eight steps or so to figure out what it feels like in your body to be balanced, what it feels like to find ease in your body before you even pick up the instrument so that when you pick up the instrument, if something feels slightly uncomfortable or you have any amount of pain, you know where your foundation point is, you know where home is, so that when you start to depart from that sensation, you can have an idea of where you need to get back to and that's gonna help your brain either fix the problem or help you rest and reset for next time. So, let's get right to it. The first thing that we want to consider when we are getting our bodies ready to play our instrument are our feet. Then we'll connect with our hips, feel our knees, connect with the trunk of our body, take a breath in and out, feel our shoulders, feel our neck and head, and get an idea of how the arms are supposed to function. Okay, so we're going to start with the feet. I want you to take two steps forward and two steps back. Don't worry about placing your feet in any particular way. So we're gonna go two steps forward and two steps back. If your feet don't end up totally in alignment, like maybe they're off center, just take another step to, to, until they meet, okay? So it might be two or three steps in one direction or the other, okay? Now I adjusted my feet. <laughs> now I want you to find your hip joints, and this is where you feel the bony structure of your pelvis. It might be more on the sides for you or maybe further out, mine are further in. And I'm gonna check out my hip joints where my, my fingertip is actually meeting the hip and looking for the alignment straight down my knee and straight into the center of my foot. I want you to keep your hands on your hips, on your hip joints, and lean forward, lean back, kind of find center, lean right, lean left, and one thing you'll notice is your pelvis is moving around quite a bit. <laughs> what we're trying to do is finding the center balance from our hips, through the knees, down to our feet, okay? Now take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. <sighs> Release any excess tension in your body. If you need to do it again, take a second and pause and do it again. We're gonna move into our trunk. Uh, there are a couple of areas that we can address, but for today, trying to keep it simple, we're just gonna think about the center of our body. So this doesn't have to be a major movement. I just want you to kind of proud chest, arch your back forward, and then kind of release to the front, okay? So I'll go to the side. This doesn't have to be really major, it's not the biggest stretch you've ever felt. Just shoulders back, arched lower back. You should feel a stretch across the center of your belly. And then round forward, shoulders forward. You might bend your knees a little bit. We're just feeling how the body can arch too much or shrug too much. Not shrug, but you know, go forward. So here, I'm, my chest is too high, my shoulders are, I'm slouching too much. I wanna find the middle point, okay? Maybe bouncing the knees a little bit. We're trying to find balance. You should feel like you are able to move at any time. We never wanna be stuck, okay? So this, that's why this practice is about finding balance in your body before putting the instrument on your body. So now we've got our, our center balance. I want you to shrug your shoulders up to your ears and release them down. And do that again. Shoulders up and release them down. So here, that's to prepare you. So when you have the instrument, have the bow, if you're 
sneaking your shoulders up, you're gonna feel what that feels like. And then you're gonna be able to go, oh, that makes more sense, right? So shoulders up and down. Now I want you to shake your head no, gently, and nod your head yes, and back to center. This should feel like, imagine like your head is rotating on top of a ball. This is another thing that we will go into a lot of detail with later. So it should be a very smooth motion. I'm not moving my head a whole lot. You'll see I'm not coming all the way over to the side. Not all the way over to the side, but just enough to feel the flexibility there, up and down, side to side. All while feeling the top of your head. Well, we'll get into that, okay? So just this and this. And now with our arms, before we hold the instrument, before we hold the bow, you want to make sure you know how your arms are supposed to be swinging or what their available movement is from your body in the most natural way. So again, I'm gonna go to walking down the street. You walk down the street and if you relax your arms, they kind of sway from side to side, right? So if I'm going from here, especially if you're if you're walking fast, like you see those power walkers. <laughs> They go like this, and um, so I'm gonna, I've got myself out of position here, so I'm gonna two steps forward, two steps back, maybe do that again. Bouncy knees, okay. So not locked backwards, just, just unlocked. Loosen the middle, shoulders, head. Now, my arms can swing front and back. So we're just gonna think about the left arm for now. Swing your left arm front and back, and I want you to swing it and then bring, flop really, flop your, your left hand on your left shoulder. You can use your knees for this. I really like that. Just make sure you don't lock them when you stand up at the top. And then just open your arm. It's kind of, if you see somebody and you're like, give me a hug, but you're a little bit more relaxed about it. <laughs> so here, my hand is very easy. And now all I'm doing is unfolding here. You see how my hand just, flops. I'm not making this happen. I'm allowing it to happen. Hand up on the shoulder, open at the elbow. And this is where the instrument is going to go. This works the same for viola, for violin. With the bow arm, it's the same concept. Your upper arm is able to swing forward and back. You do have other motion available to you, but we're going for the, if I'm not trying to move my body in a certain way, what is it going to do naturally on its own? For now, just focus that the, the easiest way, <laughs> the most natural way is your arm swing forward and back. So left arm is out here, your right arm can come forward and then it's just gonna, as if there's a ledge in front of you, hand up on your shoulder, and then let it come forward, opening up at the elbow. And just, just as if I'm just resting here. And you can see my hand is very easy, very relaxed. And uh, yeah, so this is basically our holding position. Now we're going to go through all of these steps with the instrument and make sure we're ready to play. We're just going to practice doing everything we did in the body up to this point, putting the instrument up on our shoulder. All right, so we wanna be easy and balanced in the body. This is the goal. So I'm just gonna hold the instrument with both my hands in front of me, nice and easy. Two steps forward and two steps back. Some bounce in my knee. Just make sure that your feet aren't like crazy wide. That's the whole point of the two steps forward, two steps back here. We're just trying to get into um, a natural playing position. Bounce in the knees. I'm sensing both of my feet. Nod yes and no, shoulders. You can check the, these things and bounce, bounce all around as you can see I just did. It doesn't have to be in one smooth motion every single time. Don't get bogged down by that. Just learn to sense your feet, your knees, your hips, your hip joints, your shoulders, your neck, your head. Okay, and now to put the instrument on I'm going to remind myself, 
I'm gonna swing, hand on my shoulder, and just open here, okay? You wanna make sure that you have a nice hand position here holding with the heel of your hand over the front of the neck, and you're going to bring the instrument to you, to your shoulder, okay? So two steps forward, two steps back, bouncy knees, find your hip joints, release any excess tension if you need to take a breath in and out, out through your mouth, that's important, another thing we'll talk about later, and bring the instrument to you with your head, keep it centered, nose to navel alignment. Everything is centered going all the way to the ground. You want to be so connected to the ground when you're playing. And uh, I mean, another thing we'll talk about in the future is why not to wear heels when you play. Here I'm bringing the instrument to me. I'm nuzzling it. <laughs> uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting this lower edge here on my collarbone. I'm bringing the instrument to me with both of my hands. This hand is on the... Shoulder. <laughs> shoulder here, fingers are going over the fingerboard, over the strings. This is on the lower bout, and I want to bring this section of the instrument to my collarbone, to me, and I'm keeping my nose to navel alignment. So if I'm looking at you like this, nose to navel is here, but my instrument is actually facing out here. So if I were to play in front of a mirror or play for an audience, you want the F holes these holes to be facing your audience or your mirror. So I'm gonna play like this. That's gonna allow the sound to travel forward. The balance of my body is going to allow my right arm to give a really full, open and easy movement into the instrument, which is also going to create a better sound. All right, I think that's it. The information in this video is to help you find balance, alignment and ease in your body without the instrument, so that when you play the instrument, you know what to look for, you know when you're out of balance, you know when you're not experiencing ease. And if you are holding excess tension and you're not easy in your body when you're playing, it's gonna sound that way. And you want to sound free, you want to be free. So stick to the things in this video. These motions are gonna grow with you. Your body is going to change for the rest of your life, whether you are still experiencing growth or maybe whether you're shrinking a little bit. Maybe you have a job that causes a lot of muscular imbalances. Maybe this is your job. This is what causes your muscular imbalances. There are things that are gonna throw us off balance, but if you follow these steps from your feet to your head, you're always gonna be able to find the balance and ease that works for you in your body. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave all of your questions and comments in the comment section below. I'll be sure to link any extra or helpful information that I can find. Subscribe to this channel. I will be putting out two videos every week on Mondays and Fridays. We're gonna talk about technique and playing your instrument, how to plan your practice, how to practice efficiently, and how to play without pain. I'll see you next time.